Hello everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back for some more of the Forever Lock Challenge here with a brand new playthrough. Um, we are jumping into Pokemon White today, um, which was voted on uh, over the last couple of days. Uh, very exciting stuff. Uh, Soul Silver has all been wrapped up. Um, so we are jumping into a, a new adventure here. Uh, returning to Unova once again, very good stuff. I believe it's our first first time back through um, previously played Unova game, so that's um that's exciting stuff. We're 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 really moving through the challenge, which feels really nice. Um, hey there, Bulbasaur, welcome, lovely to see you. Um, I did see your question earlier. I figured I'd answer that real quick. Um, I leave emote only on, um, or emote only mode on, uh, in between streams because there are bots that like to harass trans streamers, um, or or just LGBTQ streamers in general. So um. I, uh, I leave emote only, e e emote only mode on so the um, people can't come in and uh, harass, like basically just type a bunch of like horrible stuff in my chat and then I get banned for having inappropriate content in my chat. <laughs> um, that's why I do that. Um, so just in case you were curious. Um, but in any case, oh god, I looped all the way back through there. Um, but yeah, with all that uh, that aside, um, we are jumping into uh, the next playthrough here today. So we are just gonna we are just gonna make it happen. Let's go. Uh, uh, Bulbasaur has answered the question of the day. Uh, wow, so early, so early. Very nice. Um, but yeah, today's question of the day, if I pull it up here real fast. Uh, today's question today is, if you could design a new evolution of a Pokemon, what Pokemon would it be evolved from and what would it be like? Um, Bulbasaur has answered, uh, mine would be from Maractus, the new region's coming up. Uh, and it's in Spain. It's the perfect time to give Maractus a new evolution. Ooh, very nice, Bulbasaur, very nice. Uh, that's a, that's a fantastic point. Yeah, it would be really, really nice to have a, a a, a Maractus evolution. That'd be that'd be cool. Um, <clears throat> oh gosh, excuse me. <clears throat> oh god. Oh god, my voice was just like, nope. Um, okay, we're good now. <laughs> Let's jump in here. Um, so yeah, we'll. Um, oh god, if I. Oh no, my controller turned off. Oh no. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have a save file already pre-made as usual, so we're uh, we're just jumping right in. Um, and yeah, here we are. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, so yeah, we're, we're literally jumping right into starter selection, uh, right at the start. No, um, you know, no strings attached. We're just doing it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, um, the, the poll, uh, went live in the discord. For those of you who missed it, make sure you check out the discord. We do polls for things like starters and, uh, you know, which games we're going to play and such over in the forever lock discord. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. Uh, but yeah, according to the poll, we do have a definite winner on which starter we're going to be choosing. So I will open this gift box from Professor Juniper. I've brought three Pokemon. One for one for you and one for each of your friends. Please settle your choices politely. Enjoy your Pokemon. Wonderful. And here they are. Unova's lovely starters. Some of my favorite, uh, just in general, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so the, the, the poll was, was clear. Uh, we have a definite winner. Uh, we are, in fact, going to be going with Snivy this time around. Snivy is going to be our starter for this, the 36th playthrough of the Forever Lock Challenge. Very nice stuff. Um, so yeah, we are, we are just going to jump right in. Ba-boom. We chose Snivy. Yay. 
All right, very good. Uh, and this is going to go ahead and be our superior as well. We'll get to nickname it as soon as we get to meet up with uh, Professor Juniper. But in the meantime, yeah, we're uh, we're th we're declaring this as our superior, uh, which I will go ahead and immediately put onto the layout. Uh, hey there, Star Champ! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Not a horrible suggestion, Bulbasaur. That is the classic. That is the classic Snivy name there. That's for certain. Uh, but yeah, welcome, Star Champ. Lovely to see you. Yeah, there we go. We have the little Snivy. A little Snivy on the layout. Very good. Oh, never mind. I wanted to epic from the start anyway. <clears throat> Everyone has chosen a Pokemon, so that's that. Hey, I know. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Honestly, Bianca, even though you're still weak, you're, they're still weak Pokemon, you shouldn't have Pokemon battles inside the house. Don't be a worry, Wart. These little ones are weak, like you said. We have to let them battle so they'll get stronger. It's settled, Lids. Get ready for a Pokemon battle. And here we go. I did, yeah, I did see the stats, but I usually don't read read stats like that, but yeah, I did see them. Yeah, very, very good stuff. Very good stuff. All right. Uh, Oshawott, here we go. Uh, Democrat says isometric Snivy uh, gives front-facing for alligator art a run for its money. Yeah, uh, I, I downloaded a um, I downloaded a pack for the um, for the images. Um, <laughs> I downloaded a pack of just all of them together, and I guess for whatever reason they chose to use the um, they chose to use the black two and white two official art uh, for all of the Unova starters. I thought that was weird too. I might go in and change it to be honest, because yeah, I've never liked the front-facing. Uh, the front-facing Stivy art, so yeah, it's it's weird. It's very weird. <laughs> um, but also, hi, Dapper Kirby. Welcome. Oh, hey, Secret Boss Sauce. Welcome. As Bia says, last time on stream, Lydia knew how it felt to be Ash Ketchum and had the entire last half of the battle work against you, so you lose. No kidding, SBS. No kidding. <laughs> I'm still reeling, to be honest, but we're moving past it. We're moving past it. We're jumping into we're jumping into Gen Five, baby. It's my favorite generation, so. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. <laughs> I'm not going to dwell on it. What's some bullshit, though? <laughs> but yeah, no, I, um, I might, I might go in and change the, um, I might go in and change the, the Snivy art. I, I think Tepigs and Oshawats are also the, uh, they are also the, the, what's it called? The, um, Black 2, White 2 art. In any case, it's also not that big of a deal. <laughs> uh, Bulbasaur says, what happened? Uh, Lance basically cheated. <laughs> no, he didn't cheat. I just had I had absolutely garbage RNG going up against the champion in Soul Silver yesterday. And um, uh, it didn't get me a win, I can tell you that much. Um, SBS says, you might as well have thro thrown Darkrai out of nowhere at you. <laughs> no kidding. No kidding. Yeah, no, it was a, it was a rough bout. It was a very rough bout. Whoa, what happened? Wow, Pokemon are amazing. So little, but so strong. I'm so glad that I get to have a Pokemon. Oh, I'm sorry about your room, Lids. You are completely hopeless. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. Oh, yeah, 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 there's new rewards. Uh, yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, at the start of stream. Uh, yeah, there's some new stuff for you guys to, to get in the in the for Forever Lock token redemptions. Um, I've also changed the economy up a little bit. Um... So, you know, <laughs> you guys will have to work around that. I've, cha I've changed, like, the costs of things. So, uh, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoy some of the new the new features. Uh, enjoy. Um, you know, it'll be exciting when I get to see see and utilize the new stuff. Hopefully everything works okay, because I, uh, I fiddled with it a little bit yesterday. And uh, yeah, I added two, two, new, uh, two new things you guys can do. So, enjoy. Um, yeah, so there we go. We're all healed. Lids, this Pokemon needs... Oh, now I'm all healed. Okay, cool. <laughs> Hey, Ch er, hey, Charon, how about you battle too? Well, oh, you know, I'm sure you could battle without turning your room into a disaster area like I did. I believe you're right. It'll be no problem for me to keep the room from getting any messier. Besides, it's not fair that you two are the only ones who could have fun battling. It's decided. You'll be my opponent in our first Pokemon battle. Let's see what you can do, Tepig. All right. Pokemon Train of Charon. You got the Tepig. Naturally. No, SBS, you should not make another death prediction. <laughs> you should not. That would make me a sad. Too early. 
too early, SPS. You can come back. You can come back when we're when we're fighting the Pokemon League, and then make your make your dang predictions. <laughs> uh, Starship has uh, answer, also answered the question of the day. Uh, answers Torkoal. Make it taller, like a turtle heater. Ooh, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Torkoal could use something. Torkoal's one of those Pokemon that I honestly, I mean, I know that a lot of people are not a huge fan of baby Pokemon in general. Torkoal is a Pokemon I could see getting a baby Pokemon, though. I really could. Also, are we going to, like, lose the first battle? That's, like, a bad omen. It doesn't count against us, to be clear. There's nothing I can fucking do different here, so it's not like we'd lose the run. But are we going to, like, actually... Okay, he's tail whipping. Okay, good. I, say, I swear to God, it's like, it's, like, really hard to actually lose the Charon and Bianca fights, so, like, it's a really... It's like a bad omen if you do. Oh, no, I think we just did. <laughs> it doesn't count. <laughs> That's really funny. That's super rare. That's super, super rare that that actually happens. That's really funny. <laughs> it does not count as a death, just so we're clear. But that is not that is not a good omen. That, that, that much I can say for certain. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. I'm very sorry about all the trouble, man. Well, um, we can clean up. Cleaning up? No worries, I'll take care of it later. Shouldn't you be on your way to beat Professor Juniper? Yes, thank you. Please, excuse us. Come on, let's go thank Professor Juniper. I'll be waiting in front of the Pokemon Research Lab. Oh, wait, I've got to go home first. Thanks for having us over. <laughs> SBS says, so, no, so now do I get to make predictions? Okay, was your prediction that Snivy would die in the second battle? Then congratulations, you did it. <laughs> Uh, no, uh, no, the layouts thing is just colors, uh, Bulbasaur. <laughs> uh, Sergeant says, uh, uh, Co uh, Coltol, the baby of Torkoal. It'd be, be, like, a little space heater. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. That's a good name, too, Coltol. Um, uh, I like it. I like it, Starchamp. You know, I, I feel like there, there's a lot of Pokemon that, like, are, like, they're sort of bigger, but they don't evolve from anything. So, like, those are, like, those, t those types of Pokemon are, like, kind of prime for, for baby forms, honestly. Like, it would be really good. <laughs> Okay, in we go. Or out we go, I guess I should say. Oh yeah, it's gonna loop back around, because I think it changes based on, like, um... Because I, I must have made the save file, like, the starting save file it, when it was autumn, and now it's, I guess, spring. So, that's fun. <laughs> that's fun. Let's go get Bianca real fast. No, no, a thousand times no. But I'm... I'm a good trainer who got a Pokemon and everything. I can totally go on an adventure. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. I'll be waiting for you in front of the lab, okay? Aw. Aw, Bianca's so, so sweet. Okay. And yeah, uh, to be clear, yes, the, the Stivy did technically go down in that battle, but um, the only the only time that I think that it would really count in this in this game is like once we actually get to Route 1. From that point forward, that's when, that's when like, death actually matters. <laughs> Just to be clear, because there's literally nothing I could have done about that. That was just bad RNG. Um, Hi, I've been waiting for you, young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is... Professor Juniper? We know your name. Yeah, you fucking smug piece of shit. <laughs> Come on, Sharon. It's not time to take things lightly. Today is a day to remember always, so it's best to behave with some formality. That being said, once again, my name is Professor Juniper, and I am researching when and how the creatures called Pokemon came into existence. Oh, that's unusual. You've already had a Pokemon battle. So maybe that's why. It feels as though your Pokemon have already begun to trust you. By the way, would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, we have, we have, uh, like I said, this is going to be our superior, which actually, while I'm thinking about it, I need to write that down so that I can uh, remember to update the Discord. Um, so boop -a doop -a doo Yeah, so we have superior... Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Yeah, I am open to nickname suggestions if anybody has any, or um, if uh, if any of you feel like spending the Forever Lock tokens, there is also a new redemption option there, um, which uh, I'll be I'd be interested to, to check out. Um, it's uh, you can you can basically just say what you what the nickname's going to be. Uh, there are of course there's rules, you know, you can't do profanity or anything like that. But um, yeah, if you guys want to spend any tokens. Uh, at any point that I'm actually in the process of nicknaming a Pokemon, like I'm literally like on this screen, you can you can spend your points and uh, name it whatever you want, and I will name it that. Uh, just like you know, no no questions asked. Um, 
but you know just no profanity you know keep it keep it cool be cool about it um that sort of thing i do have the right to veto it if it's something terrible um like like terrible like racist or like sexist or homophobic or something like that um but yeah uh other than that uh i'm i'm the same usual business that i do is also a perfectly valid option i'm open to suggestions just you know uh, Bulbasaur does suggest Smug Leaf. Smug Leaf is not a bad one. Uh, the only reason that I kind of want to wait is because this is this is a superior as opposed to the um, the Snivy. I might save Smug Leaf for the actual Snivy slot, uh, Bulbasaur, if that's okay. Because um, um, yeah, I think that's um, I think it's I think it fits Snivy a lot more than it fits uh, Superior. Um, so Ter Terry Bell, <laughs> Terry Bell. What does that come from, Star? I'd be mean, like the word terrible, or <laughs> um, what have I named? What did we? Did we had a superior at one point? What did we name it? I don't remember. Was it? I feel like it was like Prince or something like that. Here, let me pull it up. Superior. What do we have? What do we have? Let's see. Oh uh, yeah, we yeah we had Prince the superior. Yeah, that was uh, that was in the Black Two playthrough a long time ago, a long time ago. Um, hmm. Yeah, what do we what do we call a superior? That's tricky, actually. Um, I um I did have a I did have a superior once that I named um I named it Snooty, just just straight up Snooty. <laughs> oh, terrible with an I. I see. I see. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, yeah, I, I could I could probably I could probably go with that. Usuchi <laughs> Doko. That's uh that's what Dunsparce is though. That's <laughs> different. <laughs> Um, yeah, we can call it terrible. We can call it terrible. Terrible with a Y. Let's go. Yeah, terrible. There we go. Okay, cool. The deed is done. There we go. Alright. Very good, very good. Pokedex? I am astonished. Nice work, Charon. You've already studied Pokemon extensively, haven't you? Still, let me explain everything from the beginning for everyone's sake. The Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter, so I want you three to visit many places and meet all of the Pokemon in the Unova region. This is my request. Lids, Charon, Bianca, you go on an adventure to complete the Pokedex, will you not? I will. Okay, I mean, yes, Professor. Thank you very much. Because of you, I can become a Pokemon trainer exactly as I've always wished. All of you, thanks. You have given me the best possible answer. Yay, we get our awesome pink Pokedex. Next, I need to teach you how to meet Pokemon. Please, meet me at Route 1, okay? Since the professor asked us, it's okay to go on an adventure, right? I can explore and maybe find out what I, what I want to do in life. I think that I'd like that. Of course. We can travel how we how we want while we complete the Pokedex. Oh, good good call. Good call, Bulbasaur. Good call. Yeah, yeah, I always... I should, honestly, I should do that, like, pr like before, um... I should do that to, like, the... I have, like, save files set up to, like, start us with, because I, they have to have the same trainer ID. I should I should get them all turned on to fast, honestly, so that they're just good good to go in that regard. Definitely should do that. Come on, let's wait up. Oh, there you are. And what did the professor have to say? She asked you to complete the Pokedex? I can't believe it. Well, actually, I can. I already knew she was going to ask. Wow, you're so cool, Mom. That's why I brought the three of you town maps. Take them with you. Hey, Very nice. Here you are, Sharon. I'll take good care of it. And then he treasured that town map for the rest of his days. <laughs> As for your room lids, or what's left of it, no need, to, no need for you to worry. I'll take care of tidying up. Okay, lids? Ah, Pokemon. They're so cute, but they have enough power to destroy a bedroom. They really are something. With Pokemon like that at your side, you'll be safe wherever you go. I'll let your parents know. I hope that, in addition to Pokemon, you'll find lots and lots of places uh, you like in the Unova region and become wonderful adults. Have a great trip. If I use the town map, I'll always know where I am. That's certainly helpful. Shall we head for Route 1? The professor's waiting. Let's go, let's go, Lids, hurry and come too, okay? Ah, oh, beautiful. Ah, oh, black and white is something special for me. I like, I, I really can't, uh, I can't pinpoint it. It just, I don't know. 
I every time I play black and white, I can't help but enjoy like interacting with the characters. I know that like we've played this a couple times now, and I mean maybe you guys would prefer I just skip dialogue like in its entirety, but I, I really do enjoy reading the characters of this game, and it's just a fun game. <laughs> I like black and white a lot. Bianca says if we're starting a journey together, she wants all of us to take our first step at the same time. Hey, lids, let's take our first step onto Route One together. Okay, here we go. One, two. <laughs> Secret boss says, meh, it's no Sword and Shield. I mean, Sword and Shield has cute characters, but I wouldn't say it really has a whole lot of depth. But I'm not getting, I'm not getting into all that again, SBS. I'm definitely not. <laughs> oh, I wonder what will happen. Isn't this so exciting? It sure is. Come on, the professor's waiting. Professor, er, Professor Juniper, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Now that everyone's here, I'll explain. The, po the Pokedex's pages update automatically whenever you meet a Pokemon. Moreover, it's set up so that you're, you obtain even more information when you catch a Pokemon. To make this clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokemon. <laughs> SBS says it has all of the depth of a shallow pool. <laughs> Very nice. I like the I like the the pause for dramatic timing. I appreciate it, SBS. <laughs> But yeah, um, I guess I got so caught up in uh, and jumping into the start of the playthrough. How are you? How is everybody doing today? How is uh, how is the Bulbasaur? How is the Star Champ and the SVS and the Dapper Kirby? How is everyone feeling today? I was gonna say, I, like I said, I'm still I'm still sort of reeling a little bit from the Soul Silver playthrough yesterday. But um, aside from that, I'm doing okay. I haven't had enough coffee yet, so I'm a little bit lightheaded. But I'm 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 sipping on it, so that's good. Uh, SP says, I'm okay, I'm just finishing up a paper. Oh, right on, right on. I feel like you're always working on uh, on, on on work stuff. Um, or, uh, like, schoolwork stuff, so, yeah. But, like, <laughs> I get it, though. School school be, do be important, though. I hope, you're, I hope your paper's going okay. Did you see that just now? Here, here's how it goes. Step by step, first reduce the Pokemon's HP. The, the Pokemon that still have all their energy are difficult to catch. If you can, use your Pokemon's moves to make the Pokemon you want to catch fall asleep or paralyze it. Uh, Sergeant says, "Good, uh, chilling with my girlfriend." Oh, are you? With, you're with um, you're with your, you're with your lovely, your lovely lady friend. Uh, we'll tell her I said hi. Um, and to and to wrap this up in the best way, I have a gift for you: some Pokeballs. All right, we got the Pokeballs, so that's good. Uh, I don't think there's anything on Route One for us to catch, so we're we're good there. But um, but yeah. <laughs> she forgot to say the Pokemon jump out of you in the tall grass. I'm heading to Accumula Town too. I think I'll go too. I'm looking forward to the next town so I can go shopping for Pokeballs. Wait a minute! Hey, listen, Lids, Sharon. I thought of something fun. But we need to get going. I'll, I'd imagine the professor's waiting too. Would you just listen to sack? Seriously? Why don't we? Why don't we see who? Ha who? Oh my God! I can't read. Why don't we see who can catch the most Pokemon? The person carrying the most Pokemon, including the one received from Professor Juniper, is the winner. I'm going to lose that competition. <laughs> huh, actually, that sounds interesting. It will fill up the Pokedex pages, so I'm sure it will please the professor, too. Okay, then. Until we reach the Town, take care of healing your Pokemon at your own house. Me and Ashavad are going to do the best for sure. All right, cool. Here we go. Control once again. Beautiful. Um, yeah, so uh, nothing, to nothing for us to catch on Route 1, if I'm not missing. Because I think it's just... Um, I'm going to double check. I forgot to get my uh, encounter tracker set up for this playthrough, but I'm pretty sure that we already have all of the Lillipup and Patrat lines. Um, I'm going to double check just in case I'm wrong, um, but I'm pretty sure that that's the case. Pretty dang sure. Um, so yeah, Lillipup we have, Hurtier and Stoutland we have, yes. Uh, and yes, we have uh, we have Patrat and we have Watchog. So yeah, we are, we are completely good on uh, Route 1. So we are just going to walk right on through um, with nothing to worry about here and make our way to Accumula Town. How about it, Lids? Do you want to compare which of us has the most Pokemon with them? Yes, it's probably me. What? 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 You only have Snivy. If you don't catch any Pokemon, won't Snivy get lonely? I have plenty of Pokemon in the PC, I assure you. Incidentally, if you check your Pokedex, you'll see how many Pokemon you've found and how many you've caught. I'm off to Accumula Town. The professor is waiting. A hey, the cross transceiver. Hello, how's everyone doing? You and your Pokemon are getting along great now, right? Oh, Professor! Right now I'm in front of Accumula Town's Pokemon Center. I'd like to show you around, so hurry on over, everyone. 
Okay, the Pokemon Center, right. Okay, see you. Well, I'm going on ahead. Alright, Accumula Towns. Yeah, we're gonna do a little Pokedex tutorial real fast, and uh, once that's done, I will actually be able to add Pokemon to the team as we, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and skip the tutorial dialogue, that's fine. Um, as, as we should all probably know by this point, yeah, we've got Pokemon transferred in from our previous Gen 5 playthroughs, uh, sit, sitting, waiting in the wings inside of the, uh, inside of the PC, and, um, we are only able to add Pokemon from previous playthroughs whose level is equal to or under the level of the next upcoming gym leader, uh, which in this case is the trio, the, the, the triplets, uh, who have the high, their highest level is 14. So we will be able, we will be adding Pokemon whose level is equal to or under level 14 from a previous playthrough to the squad. Um, and that will be pretty cool. That will be pretty dang cool. Soon as we have control. <laughs> Uh, I will say, if there's one thing that Sword and Shield did actually do right, it's uh, it's making sure that uh, the the tutorial for the Pokemon Center is completely and utterly optional. One of the most like, oh my god, I didn't know how much I needed it until it happened things in Pokemon that's ever happened. Honestly, <laughs> it's really nice. Um, I greatly appreciated it in uh, in the, my first Sword and Shield playthrough. I was just like, do you know how to use Pokemon Center? Yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs> it's great. It's great. We love that. Anyway. See you later, Professor. Oh, what should I buy? Potions and Pokeballs are definitely important. Um, thinking. Okay, so without further ado, we can finally take a look at our starting squad here. Always one of the most exciting parts of any playthrough is seeing seeing which mons are going to be uh, going on to the team. Um, so here we are. We have uh, we have many Pokemon in Gen 5, believe it or not. Um, so many of them. Um, I always sort them in uh, in order of level um, prior to the start of the playthrough. So they are all completely sorted at level. Um, the highest we can go um, from you know going from left to right, uh, top to bottom, uh, is the Wubat here. Um, so yeah, sadly I cannot use. Uh, it's, it's so it's unfortunate. We have Victini and Genesect. <laughs> in here at level 15 because that's actually that's actually the level that they that you get the gift the uh, or rather the, uh, the the mystery gift uh genesect and and then the victini at liberty garden that's actually what level they're at they're that low uh, but they're just outside of our range for the start of the team which is super lame because i would have loved to use a victini or genesect they're a definite like if anything happens to one of our fully evolves absolutely gonna add victini or genesect to the team that'll be really cool um but uh, in any case, uh, as I said, uh, uh, Woobat is the highest we can go here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start with our, the Pokemon that I have that are going to be fully evolved. Um, as is per the standard Forever Lock rules, three of our six Pokemon must, uh, or three of our six Pokemon must be capable of evolving when they enter the Hall of Fame, and one of those has to be capable of evolving twice. Um, so Snivy is one of our our Pokemon that can be fully evolved, so it's going to be a superior. Um, the next one that we're going to add actually is. Alomomola. <laughs> we have Melfi, the Alomomola, that we are going to be adding to the team here. Um, very, um, very interesting. I've never used Alomomola. I don't know how good it is. I, I think it's kind of bulky, right? I think I just from like fighting against it, I, I recall it being somewhat on the bulky side. Um, so yeah, we're adding, we're adding Melfi, Melfi the Alo, Alomomola, Alomomola. Oh geez, I spelled it wrong. Alo mo mola. There we go. <laughs> Into slot two. Um, so yeah, there we go. We got ourselves. We got ourselves the Aloma mola. Uh, it's it's kind of tall. Maybe I should move it to slot three. I can put the other one. Okay, yeah, I think I'll do that. Um, okay, let me let me do it that way. That's just a good idea. I don't want Aloma mola to block the question of the day. I forgot how tall she is. Um, Alo mo mola. Oh god, it's so hard to spell. Alo mo mola. Dang it! Alo mo mola. There we go. Jeez. Okay, it's slot three. There we go. That's better. That's much better. Okay, and then so uh, the the other uh, fully evolved Pokemon we're adding is actually a um, I transferred up from the Soul Silver playthrough. Yeah, it's Melfi Star Champ. Yeah, good stuff. Um, yeah, so I actually transferred up the freshly. We actually just got Smitaru yesterday <laughs> uh, in the Soul Silver playthrough right before we lost, but. I went ahead and transferred Spinaroo up to uh, Gen 5, just because uh, I thought it would be a fun one. I taught it some pretty good moves. You guys may recall I got TM26 yesterday during stream. 
Uh, apparently Tyro gets Earthquake. I had no idea. That's freaking hilarious and cool. So I taught Tyro Earthquake before I ended the playthrough. And, uh, and then I, I moved it up to Gen 5. <laughs> so we're going to have a nice early game Earthquake Tyro. Eventual hit on top. Um, so that will be really cool. So we're, yeah, we're just going to add add you to the team. And I can put uh, Tyro uh, into that empty slot there. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, there we go. There. So those are our fully evolved Pokemon. It'll be Superior, Hitmontop, and Aloma Mola. Uh, very good. They have no evolution, so that's where we're at. Then, of course, we need to add our Pokemon that are still capable of evolving. Um, so the first one that we're going to add is... I'm going to add uh, Patty here. Patty the Patrat. It's just a Patrat. Nothing nothing fancy. It's it's pretty standard early game Unova affair, but we got to add it eventually. Um, so yeah, we're going to add Patty the Patrat. Uh, that is what we are doing. Um, so Patrat into slot four. There we go. Uh, beautiful. And then uh, the next up, we are. I decided that I wanted to add um, Geeky, Geeky the Woobat, who is uh, named after a, a lovely, a lovely streamer who pops in to say hey sometimes. Uh, I, I raid them all the time. They, they, they've raided us in the past. Uh, so yeah, we're we're adding Geeky the Woobat um, to the squad. Finally, very good stuff. Hey there, Yubi. <laughs> oh, you made it just in time. You you made it you made it just in time. Um, oh, you won't hear my response. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, fair enough. Uh, well, I mean, I guess uh, for for posterity. Um, um, here, I'll do this. I'll do this. <laughs> there you go, Yumi. <laughs> Is buggy time? Uh, yes, we are actually. I had every intention of of adding. Um, of adding Prinsect uh, to, to the team. Ooh, I gotta add a uh, Woobat real fast. Uh, Woobat into slot five. And then, uh, yes, we are we are adding... Um, yeah, so our, our Pokemon that's capable of evolving twice is gonna be Prinsect, the Sawaddle, uh, much to Yumi's joy. Um, there we go. We got the baby Sawaddle. <laughs> Very good. Um, but yeah, so there we go. There's our team. That's this is our starting team. Um, it's it's uh, it's a bit uh, you know it's a bit of a weird one. It's all Unova mods except for Tyroke, <laughs> which is kind of amusing. Um, but yeah, th so that, that is uh, that is our starting team. It looks honestly pretty nice. Uh, I rather like it. The only uh, doubled up type is uh, the the grass between Sawaddle and Stivy, but it's a Sawaddle, so it's not really going to matter much. We're not going to be using the Sawaddle a whole lot, um, so it's a uh, not a super huge issue. Um, Really quickly, I do need to go ahead and pull items off of the Pokemon and the PC. Of course, carryovers from our previous uh, previous playthroughs. Um, it's going to take a minute because I have a lot of stinking items in Gen 5. Um, in fact, I'll use some speed up. Um, but yeah, so uh, not a bad team. Not a bad team, I will say. I am I am pleased. I am very pleased. Um, and yeah, we have so many items in Gen 5. I, do I have... I feel like... Hold on. I'm actually just curious. I have like yeah like everything is holding something holy cow this is gonna take a minute you guys i apologize i actually wanted to ask you guys about that um just uh your opinion uh so the with the item thing right uh basically one of the one of the things i'm allowed to do in the forever lock uh just to spice things up and have some fun with it is um i can actually give items to the pokemon that i've captured which will allow them to carry over between playthroughs um those items i mean um so um my, my question is this, do you guys think for the sake of like saving time so I don't have to do stuff like this where I like spend like five minutes pulling items off on stream, um, would you guys be opposed to me simply moving, like as long as I have the same amount of items as I do Pokemon in the PC, because that's the whole thing is like I don't want to just transfer all items, I want to transfer only the items equal to the number of Pokemon. But would you guys be opposed to if I just uh, put all the items in the bag at the start of the playthrough? Um, and then so so I don't have to like actually pull them all off on on stream uh, going forward. I wanted to ask you guys his opinion on that or if you guys would felt would feel like that's a little too cheaty or something like that. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you guys uh, thought is on that, because uh, what I may do in the future, if you guys are OK with it, is, yeah, just like prior to the start of the playthrough, I just put all of the items in the bag uh, they're all available uh, just like right from the start uh, and then you know we don't have to worry about pulling them all off as soon as we get to the PC what I may do is just make it so like I'm not allowed to use any of those items until I would have access to a PC and that's just to like save time because um 
you know, I mean, look at this. This is, it's taking quite a while for me to pull all this stuff off. So, um, yeah, I just, I thought it would be re a relatively reasonable, but I just wanted to know you guys' take. So definitely let me know whenever you guys get the chance. And I'll probably bring this up again too in the future. Um, yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> we're almost done. Almost done. We got a lot of Pokeballs, which is nice. Uh, we will have, uh, easy access to basically any Pokemon we run into that we can actually catch, which is pretty nice, I, I will say. I, uh, I do, I, I do approve of that. <laughs> yeah, I, like, com it looks like I completely loaded up every Pokemon with as many Pokeballs as possible. I think that was from the White playthrough, if I recall, and I was just like, oh, I should just, like, I should just, like, throw all of my remaining Pokeballs onto, onto all my Pokemon, so that's what I did. And dang, yeah, dang do I have a lot of, uh, held items. Even, like, aside from the Pokeballs, I have so many, so many things. Cherry Berry, that must just come with, uh, Emolga. <laughs> kind of funny. Um, okay, Dusk Ball. Did I get a Master Ball, or maybe I used that in the White 2 playthrough. I don't remember, to be honest. Do not fully recall, but that's okay. Aw, it's a Piloswine. Aw, Pukey. <laughs> I like Piloswine. Okay, so there we go. Finally, at long last, that's it. We got all the items. Um, so yeah, we should figure out what we're gonna... I think uh, some of our guys should be actually still be holding stuff, too. Let me pull that stuff off real fast. Spinnery is not, because they came from Gen 4. We got the Nevermelt Ice. We got a Hearthstone. We got Dragon Fang. And we got Soft Sand. Okay, cool. So yeah, we have all sorts of good items here. Uh, also, level-wise, uh, Princect is really low. Holy cow. Maybe I'll give Princect the... Uh... Hmm. How do I want to do this, actually? Because Princect is pretty dang low. I probably do need to do some manner of grinding. Like, legit grinding. Um... Hmm, but you only have Tackle and String Shot. Man, that's kind of rough, actually. <laughs> that's kind of rough. I may need to, do, like, do, like, a Switch Training situation. I could give it the Lucky Egg and do a Switch Training situation. That would probably work. Uh, and then, yeah, just in general, I should probably, like, kind of train up a little bit. Because, uh, as I recall, we're about to fight N. I think it lets us go back to the root before we fight N. Uh, he has a level 7 Purloin. And although Spinneroo and Geeky could almost certainly take it, Melfi too, um... It might be good just to get the rest of the the rest of the squad leveled up, um, just in general. Um, so yeah, how about we do some nice early game grinding? We love that. We love that here. Um, so yeah, I will um, I will give Princek the lucky egg for now. Um, there we go. We I think we actually have two, which is really cool. Um, and yeah, I will. Let's see. <laughs> Jeffrey Kirby says, "Oh no, terrible! Who, who hates Dave here? It was a it was a suggestion from uh, uh, Star Champ. So yeah, it's it's terrible. I don't really know what the I don't know why Star Champ chose to call it terrible, but that's what uh, that is what we are calling it. <laughs> it is what I went with. Um, okay, so yeah, let's uh, let's focus on terrible. Actually, uh, we will give terrible the other lucky egg, and then we will head back to Route One and do some grinding." That will that will be what we do, and I'll just get um I guess I'll just focus on getting the squad up to like level I guess just level eight to match Melfi. Um, that doesn't seem too terrible, right? Especially with the lucky eggs. Lucky eggs should make it ni nice and easy. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and throw on the grinding banner. Ba Boom! There we go. And yeah, here we go. Let's uh let's do the thing. Yeah, the Lucky Egg should get us nice, nice chonky XP, which is really cool. Okay, very good. Level 6. Ooh, all the way to level 7. Very nice. Learned Vine Whip. Excellent. Okay, really quick. I just want to heal that real quick. Yeah, see, that, that, that Lucky Egg does wonders. <laughs> Uh, Sergeant says, you said uh, with the name section it had to be nothing terrible, so I didn't listen. <laughs> I see. Okay. I, I get it. Because, yeah, um, Bulbasaur had asked about the, the new the new nickname, uh, the the new pick a nickname, uh, Foreverlock Token Redemption. And, uh, yeah, I was like, you're, you're, not al you're specifically not allowed to name it anything like terrible, which I was referring to, like, racist or, like, prejudice or, or homophobic stuff. But Star Champ's witty, I guess. <laughs> 
so witty. Uh, you're 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 a funny you're a funny one, Star Champ. You're a funny one. SBS has answered the question of the day. Has answered Octillery, thinking its evolution would look akin to an anti-aircraft missile launcher. When while its arms doubling with its arms doubling as the cannons, I kind of pictured working uh, in its helmet from its beta design and working uh, in it as a barricade exoskeleton. I think I'd call it Oc Octosalt. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like it, SBS. Also, I have a new fondness for Octillery, so I very much appreciate it. I very much appreciate it. I like it, SBS. I want to see that. I want to see that for certain. Octillery evolution. Do it, Game Freak. I know you want to. <laughs> oh, that's right. I'm supposed to be switching um, Prince Act, but uh, here, let me. I'll just run from this, and uh, then I'll put Prince Act out front. Totally forgot about that. My bad. Yeah, we'll put put Prince Act out front, and then we'll swap. Vine Whip. Oh, I should look at I should look at terrible stats. I wonder if they're any good. Wait, did Prince got really not get a level up from that? Okay, it almost did. So that's rough. <laughs> uh, SPS is uh, it'd have to have to look more sad because it's fought for so long and now craves peace. Oh, <laughs> that's actually kind of tragic. SPS, my word. <laughs> Okay, so I think for this one, uh, let's go up to Spitteroo real fast. I don't think it, do, I, do I even have a fighting move? I do not. Well, I got Earthquake it, I guess. That'll do it. <laughs> How silly. Okay, let me heal real fast, just to play it safe. I definitely, I, I've definitely lost Pokemon in the early game grinding before in, in black and white, so I, de I definitely just want to play things very, very, uh, Carefully. <laughs> uh, I love how colorful the layout looks with all the stinking, all the different types and like uh, different, just different colors on all the mods. It's really, uh, it's really appealing looking. I have to say, I'm kind of loving it. Kind of loving it. Okay, you know, let me switch. Backup's terrible. Fine whip. Oh man, we're just not doing any freaking damage, are we? Yeah, I forgot to look at the stats again. Let me look. I'll, I'll look at terrible stats. I wonder if we have like lowered attack or something. I oh, see that vine whip seems like it's doing like nothing. Okay, cool. We hit level eight. Beautiful. Prince X hits four. All right. Yeah. Let me. Let me see. What you got going on? Terrible. Oh, we do have lowered attack. I was gonna say, yeah, that vine whip seems like it was not hitting very hard. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, that's, oh, that's unfortunate, actually. <laughs> we got the bad, the bad attack nature, so we are, we're gonna have to play, I guess, special superior for this one. Um, wow, terrible is, go figure, terrible. <laughs> um, that's funny. Um, let's see, um, Dapper Kirby says, Lydia, you're pronouncing it wrong, but with one in, Spideroo, or Spideroo is spine, is, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, no, it's not, it's not Spideroo, Dapper Kirby, it's Spideroo. It's just spelled different. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, I, st I still want to get Prince Act up. I wonder if Prince Act can fight on its own yet. Mate, it's, it's really risky. I don't want anything to happen to the little baby bug, because I know that Yumi will be very sad. Okay, level four. Uh, God, it just, uh, yeah, it makes me nervous. It makes me nervous. I'm too nervous. Let me, uh, I'll swap to, swap to Melfi. Okay, level five, beautiful. Level five gives me some manner of confidence for a level four Patrat. Okay, I, I, I could at least take a hit. So let's see what you could do, Prince Act. Okay, that's not too bad. The leer makes me nervous. Yeah, too nervous. Too nervous, Melfi. 
No, I don't want the I don't want the baby buggy to die, Sartamp. Uh, Sartamp says I have another idea. Of uh, sim symbatic, uh, it evolved from Paris, but rather than the mushroom dominating the crab, it evolved so that they have a symbiotic relationship. Bug water type. Ooh, fa a fun idea. Fun idea, Sartamp. I like it. Ooh, Prince X hits level six. Very good. We're doing good. We're doing very good here. Ooh, level three Lily Pup. I think Prince X can handle that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now you're, now, now, you're, now we're working here. There you go, Prince Act. Yeah, that's the stuff. Yeah, I know, sweet little baby leaf. I know, super cute. Oh yeah, this one's, this one's going right down. There's level seven. One more on Prince Act, and then yeah, we'll just get Patty up to level eight as well, and then we'll be right as rain. We should be right on, uh, right on level curve. Very good stuff. Thanks for bearing with me on this uh, on the early game stuff here, you guys. I know it's a little, little, a little bit a uh, little bit of a grind to start. Uh, between Unova and Jodo, I think those two are like the most like you gotta grind a lot at the very start of the game to like be comfortable in a Nuzlocke. Um, uh, as opposed to most other regions, you can kind of just like go and you're you'll be fine. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. We're getting all the weak pitch right now. Uh, fun fact, uh, you guys. I don't know. If, uh, I don't know who all realizes. I never realized this until way later. Um, Gen five was the first of of the regions, and I, I believe it's still a thing these days. It's just that, like, I feel like a lot of people just in general don't even know about it. Gen five introduced the mechanic of um, the the bigger the difference between your leveled Pokemon. Or, so basically, the bigger the difference between the level of your Pokemon versus the, the level of the wild Pokemon, uh, will actually affect the amount of uh, experience that you gain. So if you if you're if the gap is too big, you'll actually gain less experience. So essentially, you get like if you're beating up a bunch of really really low level Pokemon, you're gonna gain less experience per battle um, on average. Which is I think that's a really interesting mechanic, honestly. Um, it, it was not in Gens 1 through 4, but it was introduced in Gen 5, which is uh, very interesting. I, I, do, I don't know how to feel about it, frankly. Um, okay, so yeah, we're all done there. So I will take... Take the Lucky Egg from Terrible and give the Lucky Egg to... God, we have so many items, my word. Oh yeah, that's right, it goes to the start. Um, give that to Patty. Adeptus says, oh, huh, I thought that was always a thing. I never noticed. Yeah, no, it's not in Gens 1 through 4. Uh, they always give uh, consist a consistent amount of uh, EXP in those games. Also, we have Return. That's pretty cool. Uh, although, we're not friendly yet, so <laughs> not really going to be very good yet. But we have Dig. That's cool. Although, <laughs> maybe we ought to switch just for this one battle, at least. Let's go out to Melfi. We'll probably oh no, well, level two, level two we could probably handle. I wonder how much return does with like no friendship basically. Not very much. Okay, <laughs> I was just curious. <laughs> yep, <Yeah>, Belfi Bobby. <laughs> I was waiting for someone to make that joke. Uh, Star Champ. <laughs> I for I forget what the origin of the of the Melfi name was. Was it just named after what was it? Because it was you who named it this, right, Star Champ? That rings the bell for some reason. It was a long time ago, though. <laughs> See, I forget. I forget like the origins of a lot of the Pokemon's nicknames, like a lot. <laughs> oh, that's right, the Yu-Gi-Oh. That's what it was. Yeah, there's there's a Melfi archetype in uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh. That's what it is. That's what it is. Checks out. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done, you guys. I promise. <laughs> I may go a little long today, honestly, just because um. I was gonna say we're we're all already almost an hour in and I haven't done anything yet. That's crazy. We haven't even done the freaking gets us speech yet. That's funny. But it's okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. I'm just gonna switch right away. Very 
good. Patty hits level five. Okay, now I feel comfortable that Patty can actually handle handle themselves just fine. Okay, Patty, let's go. Ooh, yeah, the attack is good. Starting getting that XP there, Patty. Oh, I like it. Yeah, once Patty hits uh, level eight with the rest of them, then we will um, we'll go and fight N. That's the game plan. Uh, SBS has answered the question today once again. Uh, Love disc dual evolution um, pastang representing um, passion. Uh, basically, imagine uh, that toy heart that Chibi Moon uses as a heart-shaped fish, <laughs> and uh, Depreciscus, the heartbreak fish. Again, a heart-shaped fish that uh, has cracks in it, symbolizing heartbreak. You could lay with the you could lay with the gyres and temperature of current deter to determine the form of love disc evolves into. Oh, interesting. Huh. Okay. Okay, okay, cool, cool. I like it. I like it, SBS. Fun ideas. A dual evolution for, for love disc, huh? That's a that's a fun that's a fun idea. Like try and actually make it um like viable, I guess. <laughs> uh oh, Yumi is here with proper audio and all. Oh wonderful Yumi, welcome. Lovely to see you. Uh, lovely to see you. Yeah, no, it was funny. I was, um, <laughs> I was actually, I was just about to say, like, oh, I hope Yumi shows up uh, in time to see us add the Sawaddle to the team, because I had every intention of doing that from the start. It's just a baby Sawaddle, too. It's it's a Sawaddle only. Um, uh, oh god, do I, do I want bite? I kind of do, but like, I have good moves though. <laughs> I can't, re I can't really get rid of tackle yet because I don't have any good moves. Uh, I mean, dig and return are fine, I guess, but oh, this is rough. I kind of want work. Well, then again, I get the TM for work up from the first gem, so we'll just we'll just give it a work up for now. I don't need it at the moment. If I really want it, I can get it later. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that I'm glad that you love them. I'm glad that you love them, uh, Yumi. <laughs> yeah, Princect the baby. Um, just a little little buggy friend. No, I was not. I was not gonna do that, Star Champ. No, I was not. I was definitely not. I was I was I was taking great care to make sure that Prince X stayed stayed in um stayed in good shape. I went to the Pokemon Center very very repeatedly to make sure that that it was okay. <laughs> no, what no? <laughs> Dapper Kirby said she was gonna let it die with great prejudice. I might add, it's not true. It's not true. I was being so nice. There's, it's recorded. You guys are lying, and you guys will just look, you guys will just look like fools later when Yumi goes back to watch the VOD again. Hmm. Who's, who's gonna be trustworthy then? I wonder. Okay, Patrak goes down. <laughs> uh, you guys are silly. Come on, level eight, baby. We're almost there. Now, now we're. Now we're cooking with gas. Yumi says yes because I'll totally do that. I know you will. I know that you're you're probably the most proactive person I know, Yumi. Always, always uh, stepping out of your comfort zone and um, and and doing things with up utmost uh, utmost enthusiasm. <laughs> I know that that's what you do, Yumi. Don't you don't have to remind me. Um, <laughs> Devaker says obviously you doctor the footage and pose. I mean naturally. I, yeah, just the, the I changed the I changed the chat logs. I changed the chat logs on uh, on Twitch so that it it's just you guys saying a bunch of terrible things and then me being completely innocent and and wholesome. <laughs> Can't prove that that's not the case. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, like one or two more battles, and then we're then we're good to go. And naturally, I'm out of coffee now, too, so I'm going to go get a refill. But once I get that refill, we can finally progress um, and uh, start making our way towards uh, towards the next area. I've always kind of found it uh, kind of startling how huge the um, the level gap is from, like, like, the start of the game to the first gym. It's crazy that it, like, has you go all the way to level 4. Like, the gym leader has level 14. That seems so high. Um, it's just, yeah, it's kind of insane. Kind of insane. 
Uh, <laughs> Star Champ is redeemed. Go grind. Um, well, jokes on you, Star Champ. Uh, I will go grind. I will grind Patty up to level eight. <laughs> I will grind Patty up to level eight. <laughs> How is that for a grinding for you? Ba boom! There it is. Patty hits level eight. There you go, Star Champ. You're redeemed. <laughs> You guys, you guys are giving me sass lately. I'm giving you sass right back. How's that? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, will will you just pay more, Star Champ? Hmm. Maybe, maybe you will. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if you will. <laughs> I have the power here. <laughs> yes, Dapper Kirby. I did. I did change up the. I did change up the prices. Uh, keep old moves. Um, give up on bite. Yes. Um. Uh, SPS is not gonna lie. I'd like to see Yen Mega go even more primal. That would be cool, yeah, if they went like even more prehistoric. <laughs> I um I may or may not have activated cooldown on on grinding Star Champ. <laughs> so you're not gonna be able to just make me go grind again. <laughs> yeah, I was I was fiddling with um I was fiddling with the stinking um uh, rewards for, uh, for the Foreverlock tokens. And, uh, yeah. So, I've, I've done some things. I've, t I've tweaked some things. I added some stuff for you guys, though. I hope you enjoy the new stuff. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> but, yeah, I've, I've, uh, <clears throat> uh, as they say in the trading card, card industry, I've, I've rebalanced a few things. I've rebalanced the format. <laughs> um, all right, cool. So, yeah, here we go. Let's, um, Let's put Princect out front. Uh, also, I should get some items, uh, some like actual just usable items onto the rest of the squad here. Let's do, um, I should have like a Mystic Water or something, right? Um, Mystic Water, yeah, there we go. Uh, Dr. Cruz says, uh, your big displays of power over us only show how small you are. You can't stop the revolution because the grind for peace never stops. <laughs> oh, Dr. Kirby, you're so silly. Yumi says, okay, so I'm looking back at chat, and one, Star Champ's still pushing the water-type Paris idea, I see, and two, I also see Star reacting to maybe you you wanting to let the buggy die, but, like, what, what did I say? I, I was saying, no! I was saying, no, the buggy good! I take care of buggy! That's what I said, or something to that effect. Uh, SP says, where was this energy last stream? If only you made Lydia grind faster and harder, feel free to take this out of context, kids. She might have stood a chance. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, okay, so, yes, with all that said, uh, Melfi's got that. Let's give Spinneroo, um, let's see, what do I want to give Spinneroo? Um, we will give you, ooh, uh, Rocky Helmet's good. Uh, we will give Patty. Uh, I could give it, like, the Eevee Light, I guess. For now. And we'll give Geeky... I should have Twisted Spoon, I think I saw. Twisted Spoon, where was it? I know I saw it. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, Yumi says, why did they think they were going to let them die? Because I was just grinding. That's all it was. That's literally all it was, Yumi. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. You guys are just bullying me. Hey there, Duke. Welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Lovely to see you. We're starting our brand new uh, adventure through Pokemon White today. Um, fun stuff. But yeah, how are you doing, Duke? Uh, Dapper Kirby says, take care of Buggy. You mean, like, a hitman? How cruel? No! Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> you guys are you guys are just dorks. You guys are a bunch of dorks. <laughs> um, okay, and then last, I'll give the leftovers to our starter. That sounds good. <laughs> there we go. Leftovers. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, all the all of our all of our current mods that we've caught, uh, or uh, all of them are nicknamed. Yeah, at the moment, yeah, Duke. Um, we uh, we did we did get our our Snivy, and then uh, that was someone suggested a nickname for that, and then um, we have a couple of encounters that we'll we'll be getting, but uh, yeah, so we'll nickname those when when the time comes. But yeah, in the meantime, everything we have is nicknamed. Um, uh, okay, so let's see. SBS says, "What about you, Lids? You get you you got a question of the day answer?" Um, good question, SBS. Um. It's hard, it's hard to say. I mean, I have like plenty of like uh, like fake mon evolutions, but like nothing like particularly clever, honestly. I have like a fake mon uh, evolution for Weezing and Muck, 
um, both of which just kind of like double down on like the pollution element. Like uh, I had a, um, I had a, uh, what's it called? Weezing evolution that was, um, it was essentially just like a, <laughs> um, it like grew like, I mean, hilariously enough, this was before, um, this was before Galarian Weezing. It was essentially a Weezing that had like, yeah, like big steam pipes coming out of its back. But they were more like they were more like pollution pipes, like like actually full on. They weren't like a top hat, to be clear. They were just like pollution pipes, and I made it po poison steel. Um, but yeah, and I, I called it um, I called it hacking. Um, or no no no, hacking was the other one uh, that I made. Choking, choking. It was choking. C H O A K I N G. Choking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a cool one. <laughs> um. Yumi says, okay, confession. I knew that you uh, had the stream muted, so I was teasing Lids about her saying she could... Yeah, see, you admit it. Starchamp admits it. Thank you for coming clean, Starchamp. Trying to make me look bad. Rude. <laughs> but thanks for coming clean. Oh, uh, you oh, you like um, you like Sawaddle, Duke? That's awesome. Yeah, Sawaddle's super cute. Sawaddle's super cute. Yeah, we have a, we have a little baby Sawaddle. That's, uh, we call it... Pr the, the, that one's named Prinsect. <laughs> Prince. I don't remember where that name came from, but it's a really good one. He's just baby. <laughs> uh, Yumi says, I thought of Megas, but I can't think of any regular Evos. And there's Pokemon I, I think deserve buffs, but I don't have any Evo ideas for. Oh, uh, yeah, fair enough. Anyways, oh, let's say hello to Ed. Oh, also, I could turn off the grinding banner. I don't need that on anymore. Oops. Um, there we go. Just now, it was saying. Slow down, you talk too fast. And what's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is N. My name is Charon, and this is Lids. We were asked to complete the Pokedex, and we just left on our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. The Pokedex, eh? So, you're going to confine many, many Pokemon to Pokeballs for that, then. I'm a trainer, too, but I can't help but wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Lids, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Let's go in. Pokemon Trainer in. With the purloin. And we're leading with Baby. I figured that this would probably be fine because we did get Bug Bite. So we can smack this purloin for super effective. Might as well use the might as well use the um Sawaddle while we still can, because eventually it's gonna taper off and we won't really be able to use it a whole lot. Hey, Prince Act hits level nine. Very good. <laughs> yeah, he's he's pretty cool, and is and is a, a very interesting character, Duke. That's for certain. As long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs, did you guys? I mean, I think I mentioned this in a previous uh, Unova playthrough, but it's worth mentioning again just for for some of the new folks in chat. Um, did you guys know? So like, Charon just said some something to the effect of like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, you talk too fast." If you guys notice, um, In's dialogue boxes move faster than every other characters in the game, with the implication based on what Charon says there, that he just, he does talk very fast. Um, like, w w watch uh, watch the text boxes go by uh, in the rest of this conversation. You'll see how much faster his are than every other character. It's super fascinating. Cool little, like, detail. Pokemon will never be... I'm not pressing, a, a, like, the B button or anything, to be clear. This is just, like, how, that's how fast it goes. I have to change the world for Pokemon because they're my friends. And then, like, Charon, much slower, if you guys notice. <laughs> Huh, strange guy. But I'm not going to worry about it. You can actually see the scroll uh, with Charon's text versus N's, which is just like almost instantaneous. Uh, kind of cool. Kind of cool. Just a cool little detail in black and white, as there are many of. <laughs> Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Striaton City. Aim to battle the gym leader after gym leader. That's the best way for a trainer to become stronger and is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. Yeah, he uses big words too. Yeah, Duke. Uh, Sergeant says, "Yeah, the implication is that N is a fast speaker. That N is a fast speaker is super cool. Yeah, no, I, I think it's, I think it's neat. I think it's really neat. It's, it's something that also hasn't really been captured in like the anime or even any of the specials, um, I, which I think is odd because yeah, it's like it is canonical that he just talks really freaking fast. And I think it's cool. I think it's cool. Like I said, I love that kind of like little details like that. Um, very neat." Okay, all healed up. Um, I guess I can grab some potions real fast too. I might as well. I think that we have, we should have plenty of, po I think we have plenty of Pokeball. I guess I could grab like 10 just for, 
just to be on the safe side. I'll grab five potions, and then I'll grab... We'll just grab the ten Pokeballs. Why not? Doesn't hurt to have them. And we get the Premier Ball, of course. Uh, we, we have, like, Quick Balls and Ultra Balls and stuff, too, which is funny, but, um... But, yeah, so there we go. Um... Oh, God, I don't have running shoes yet. Soon. Very soon. <laughs> let's, uh, let's head on through. And, yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a little bit rough, but uh, I do believe that we are probably going to have to do more grinding. If we... I, I'm trying to decide if I actually want to challenge... I, I do want to challenge the first gym today, but, like, at the same time, we've already spent so much time. I guess it depends. It depends. We may have to grind before we can fight the first gym, though, which is funny. It's your mom. How are things? Are you and your Pokemon getting along and enjoying your journey so far? I need to talk to you, so I called, but I'm going to hang up the cross transceiver now. Hey, mom. How's it going? Um... Duke says, uh, I still think Inn has ADHD, talks fast, sees the world different, has a hard time socializing, and sees the world in a different way. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, it's, 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 honestly, it's not a bad idea. It's not a bad headcanon that he, you know, he, yeah, he has that. Um, absolutely. <laughs> okay, there's the running shoes, beautiful. He's an inter, he, End is a super interesting character. He's definitely one of the more enjoyable characters in, uh, in black and white as far as, like, especially as far as, like, speculative things goes, because there's a lot to him. I would love to see him come back in a future game. I'm surprised he hasn't, frankly. Yumi says, see, I went in a different direction when I came up with, a, with an Octillery Mega. I learned that the idea of, co of cooked octopus and made it water fire. Oh, that's a fun idea, Yumi. That's a fun idea. Kind of lean away from the, the other element of it. Um, also, this is Route 2, right? I need to double check that there's not anything that I can catch here. Route 2, Pokemon... I know we have the... Um, I know we have the Purloin and the Lipard, but I just want to make sure that there's not anything else. Um, hold on. I need to, and, uh, yeah, between this stream and the next one, I'll definitely have a proper encounter tracker so that I don't have to worry about this again. Uh, okay, no, it's just Patrat, it's just Patrat, Lillipup, and Purloin, which we have the full lines for, so we are good. We are good. I just wanted to double check there wasn't anything, uh, of note. Um, okay, but yeah, um, I guess I could just fight it with the, with Prince Ekman. Let's run, run right away. Run away. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Um, let's do terrible. It's your turn. Here, let uh, let me reorganize here so I can breathe. Um, there we go. Beautiful. Add a potion. Oh yeah, that would I guess that would make uh that would definitely make flamethrower more viable on Octillery, huh, Yumi? That's awesome. <laughs> That's a smart idea. Oh hey Casper, welcome. Yeah, there's so many babies on this team. So many babies. <laughs> it's it's wonderful. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting, yeah, terrible is not a good <laughs> terrible is not an attacker. Oh this is this is gonna be a rough. This is gonna be a rough one. Oh uh, rough. This is going to be a rough one. There we go. <laughs> Uh, here, let me just move on. Uh, let's fight this guy. Yeah, the the Snivy with the with the lowered attack stat in the early game feels pretty bad. <laughs> it, exp it does actually explain why um, I actually lost to Charon, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, my tackle wasn't doing as much damage as it usually does. So yeah, we got we got pretty unlucky on that one. I leer at you a couple of times. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> Uh, Sergeant is gonna head out for food. Wish you luck. Hey, have a have a good time, Star Champ. Uh, we'll see you around. Take care. Okay, so let's um, let's smack it with the Vine Whip. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. Thanks to the little ears. All right, Patrat is down. Very good. And then yeah, there's a yeah another trainer here. I remembered. Um, let's uh let's just potion up real fast. Uh, make sure we're all good to go. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Dunsparce Evo is good. Yeah, that's that's another good one, Yumi. Um, yeah, Dunsparce Dunsparce Evo has so much potential. So much potential. Aw, oh, I miss uh, <laughs> I miss Plumpkin. Aw, oh, feel so bad. I got really attached to that Soul Silver team, you guys. I feel so bad. I feel so bad that we lost them all. That's so so lame. So lame. But uh, forever lock do be that way sometimes. It is what it is. F in the chat for Plumpkin. Feels bad. You will be you will be missed. <laughs> and Zuka. I really liked that octillery, man. I really liked I really liked that octillery. Um that was like it was like weirdly becoming one of my favorites, but yeah, no. Nope. Zuka goes down. Feels bad. Oh well, we'll uh we'll get another octillery one day. One day. Alright, terrible hits level nine, very good. All right, and we will swippy swappy out. Um, we'll put Patty out. Fortunately, we do have that lucky the the, the couple of lucky eggs, so it should actually make the the grinding that we will have to do before we take on. Uh, I guess since we did Snivy, it'll be Chili that we're fighting. Um, yeah, before we fight Chili, we'll be able to um, use that lucky egg to grind out pretty 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 easily, I imagine. Um, so that's good. Also, <laughs> we have Melfi, so Melfi will absolutely destroy his pants here. Um, I wish we had a fighting move on Tyrogue, but alas, we do not. Um, but, uh, yeah. Point is, we should be fine for the gym, but at the same time, I do want to, like, be at least somewhat on par. I guess we don't have to get all the way up to, like, 14 across the board or anything, but, like, I definitely want to have, like, probably, like, a at least 11 or so, maybe 12. Uh, for the whole crew would probably be good. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Let me let me know your thoughts. I am always I am always looking for that kind of feedback. So, let me drop another potion real fast. All right. Roland's got the lily pup. I don't know. I don't know if uh, black and white just like kind of expects you to. Um, I guess it just expects you to only use like one or two Pokemon at this point in the game, and then just like kind of over grind on them. Cause uh, yeah, it's weird that it does jump up so high. Cause like we're fighting level seven trainers here, and then the gym is like literally right up the right up the corner here, and uh, level fourteen. Hot damn. We have a couple of trainers to fight in the dream yard, but still, it's not enough. It's not enough. <laughs> uh, Yumi says, ooh, what if Chimico evolved uh, evolved into a, a psychic and steel church bell or something? Ooh, that's a good idea, Yumi. That's actually a really good idea. It would be another, like, like bell Pokemon uh, a la uh, Bronzong, but, like, I don't know. I could still I could still kind of see it. They could, they could take it in a really interesting angle. Um, yeah, not a, not a terrible idea, Yumi. Um, okay, so I think we're about to fight Bianca, if, uh, if memory serves. Um, let's see here. Is there anything else for me that... No, okay, just a cut tree. All right, um, I think we can lead with Patty. If things kind of get crazy, I can always switch. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's just go. Let's Come on, let's. Hey, girl, how you doing? Hey, listen, let's have a Pokemon battle. Please, I caught, uh, the Pokemon I caught have become a little stronger. Ready or not, here I come. Hey, Bianca, how's it going, girl? Oh, she's so cute. Bianca's so stinking cute, you guys. I really do love her. She's adorable in the anime, too. I won't go into details, because I know that some folks may still be wanting to watch that, but Bianca is so stinking funny in the anime. She's really cute. Uh, Duke says uh, that did uh, that did that already with Bronzong. I I was thinking uh, of a ghost psychic and make it one of those ritual sticks. Oh yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about, Duke. Um, sorry, I know I butcher reading things. Um, but yeah, no, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, that'd be super cool. That'd be super cool. It'd be very steeped in Japanese culture. Uh, very awesome. Very awesome. Um, okay, Patty, go for the tackle. Ooh, good damage. Hot damn. Very 
good. Level 9 on Patty. We love that. Okay, Oshawa is coming out. Um, let's see. We'll go into... It's technically Melfi's turn, but I'll go into Terrible. <laughs> Luke says, girl, I butcher writing things. You read well. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, I usually try and like, like, uh, like if, if, if folks like uh, accidentally like type something incorrectly in the chat, I usually try and autocorrect as I read, but sometimes I just fail. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I, I try, I try. Um, Yumi says, uh, so far she's kind of obnoxious in the anime, to be honest. She has cute aspects, but it counteracts with spy some other bothersome aspects. <laughs> I can understand why you might not like her. I find her absolutely hilarious, Yumi. Um, but, I mean, I, re I respect it. I mean, we all have our own tastes. I think she's really funny. Um, she's, she's actually probably my favorite character in the black and white anime. Okay, <laughs> two hit, two hit KO, maybe? Two hit KO would be nice. Uh, Casper says, mm, I think a uh, Smeargle evolution could be fun. Ooh, uh, yeah, I would love that, Casper. A Smeargle evolution? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I really, really like, um, I really, yeah, I really like Smeargle just in general. So, yeah, uh, I would love to if, if you got, like, honestly, so, uh, I've mentioned before, I'm not huge when, uh, I'm not huge on when Pokemon just get facial hair. If there's one Pokemon that I could actually see getting facial hair and making it work, it's Smeargle. I could see him getting, like, a big bushy beard. Maybe like with like the tip of his beard like has like a like paint drip on the end of it like a paintbrush. That'd be that'd actually be really cute. <laughs> um, yeah, I would like that. I would like that. I uh, even said she's your favorite. Over what? T Pokemon are different. I meant like human characters, Yumi. I do love Tepig. Uh, Tepig is so stinking cute. Ah, uh, you guys. If you guys haven't seen uh, the black and white anime, first off, you should go see it. But if you're not gonna go see it immediately. I would at least recommend uh, going on YouTube and looking up a scene from the, the dub of the black and white anime um, with Tepig in it. Because Tepig's voice is so gosh darn cute. It drives me crazy. Every time I hear it, I just like, I get this big stupid grin on my face. It's so stinking cute. Um, yeah, Tepig is amazing. And Pig Knight too. Pig Knight's super cute. Um, oh, I love it. Okay, um, so yeah, here we are in Striaton City. Uh, what do we want to do here? I guess let's go to the Dream Yard. We can actually go get our Elemental Monkey. Uh, we get a free gift one of those in the Dream Yard, so we'll, I guess we'll go do that while we're still training up here. Um, oh, uh, SPS's last one. Um, uh, D Diang? D Diang? The Evolution of Sea King. Just an old, elegant, frilly fish with muscles col- uh, uh, I, I can't read. <laughs> uh, think, think of a king, hence the reference, on his deathbed. The muscles serve as play. Oh, muscles like the the okay, like the like the like the shell things. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay, got it. Uh, and serve in, as an exoskeleton set of te uh, teeth along its jaw would get a ghost water typing. Oh, very cool. Very very cool. Oh, like dying, dying. Got it. Got it. Oh, that that's a cool idea, SPS. I like it. What a what a interesting direction to take that Pokemon. Oh yeah, Oshawott's super cute in the black and white anime too. Yeah, I agree, Yumi. I agree. Uh, frankly, all three of the starters are really cute. Stivey's probably lower on the totem pole, but it's still really stinking cute. It's still really stinking cute. The black and white anime is just really enjoyable. There's a lot of cuteness in that. There's a lot of cuteness. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're not wrong, SBS. Yeah, Sea King is very, very generic. It's maybe one of the most generic Pokemon. Um, so yeah, I totally get it. Yeah, that's um, that's a fun idea. That's a fun idea. Hey, Milfy hits level nine. We love that. Morning, Aqua Jet. Ooh, I, I will take some priority. Thank you. Goodbye, Water Sport. Uh, Perloin. Okay. Uh, let's go. Ooh, we can go back into Prince Sect again. Prinsect eats kittens for breakfast. <laughs> no. But we are going to bug bite it, though. <laughs> Ooh, easy, Prinsect. Prinsect strong. Ooh, so much XP. Oh, that's right. You're still holding a lucky egg, aren't you? <laughs> well, hey, that works out for us. 
Um, okay, cool. So, now we can, let's see, we got our level 10. Wow, we're doing really good. Um, okay, so let's, um, I don't think I can just stay out front, frankly, actually. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's fight this kid and then go talk to this lady and get our, um, get our, get our monkey. We actually, I looked at the, I looked at the checklist. We don't have a single elemental monkey, um, from, from Yudava, which kind of blew my mind. It's really surprising. We just somehow do not have any of them. Kind of wild. Uh, okay, so hit it with the surf, Melfi. Ooh, we live it. Yeah, that is interesting. Yeah, you're right, Yumi. It doesn't really learn any sound based move, Bronzong. That is weird. That is weird. Um Yeah. I guess they could just make they could just make it so that Bronzong gets more moves like that though. <laughs> they should, frankly. They they should they should give Bronzong more sound based moves. All right, the trat is down. All right, Lily Pop. And that should get Melfi up to level ten. Very nice. Nice to have Surf this early, I will say. <laughs> Glad that I made that call. All right, level 10, beautiful. Ah, I see, I mean, I see, you're so knowledgeable. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know that about Bronzong. Um, okay, so let me put Patty out front and that'll be the first one we grind up uh, here in a minute, but let's get our monkey first. Hey, hey, you, what was your first Pokemon you received? Snivy, really? Then Panpour could be a big help. Your Snivy does not do well against fire types. What do you say? You want this Panpour of mine? Yes, please. Oh, gosh dang it. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Oh my gosh. I hate Pokemon games that make me po go put a Pokemon to the PC. That's so obnoxious. Ah! <laughs> ah, I hate it. We just talked about this yesterday, actually, with the Tyrogue. That is just absurd that Gen 1 can transfer it automatically, but Gen 5 cannot. What the heck? Okay, let me let me temporarily pull Geeky off the team. We'll get you back in a minute there, Geeky. <laughs> Yumi says knowledgeable equals on the Bulbapedia page. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's exactly what knowledgeable means, Yumi. <laughs> if you look if you look at the Merriam Webster's dictionary definition of knowledgeable, it just says on the Bulbapedia page. <laughs> Alright, cool. Panpour, there we go. Um we will take the... Well, let's make this a Simipore. Why not? Um, no reason not to. Hey, I brought it back. Nice. Um, okay, yeah, so we have a Simipore here. Um, a male Simipore. I am open to nickname suggestions, if anybody has any. Uh, Yumi says, but I did already know part of it. What's also interesting is the sapling engraving on the back of Bronzor and Bronzong symbolizes the connection to Plentiful Harvest. Oh, that's nice. That's actually really cool, Yumi. Uh, I like that. I like that. I have always noticed that little symbol. I never knew what it actually meant, though. That's cool. That's super cool. Um, but yeah, so Simipore. Simipore. We don't have any of them. I don't even think we have, like, a nicknaming theme for them. At least I don't think. I think we did use... We did use a Simi Sage at one point, I think. Um, here, let me look. Let me look. Did we have... Oh, that's right. I, I just named them after Johnny Bravo because of the silly hair. So, yeah, we don't really have, like, a nicknaming theme for them. But, uh, yeah, if anybody has any ideas for, um, for Simipor, uh, definitely let me know. I have no idea what to call it. <laughs> um, I've, I've used Simi Seer, and I've used Simi Sage. I've actually never used Simi Simipor, which I'm not adding it to the team or anything, so I'm not going to be using it here either, but, um... Did we we had a Simi Seer at one point, didn't we? Yeah, oh that's right, Blaze. Yeah, Blaze the Blaze the Simi Seer. Yeah, I remember you. I remember you. That was a long time ago. Um SPS says, yes, I got an A on my exam. Oh, congratulations, SPS. That's awesome. That's super awesome. Congrats. Um uh, Casper suggests Percy, like from the P PJO Seer. I don't know what PJO is, but um, I mean, Percy's a fine enough name. <laughs> like, that sounds perfectly fine. If nothing else, it's just a generic name. So, yeah, uh, Percy it is, Casper. Thanks for the suggestion. 
There we go. Percy the semi-poor. Uh, and let me write that down real quick so I can remember to update the Discord. Semi-poor. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so... Alright, so now that that is done, um, yeah, I think I want to... Turn this side. I can't access the, the grass here in the dream yard yet. We are due for an encounter here, because the, the semi poor was just a, a gift Pokemon. Um, so that is, of course, separate. Um, but I need to figure out... I need to figure out um, how we want to do this. We do saw the rival battle as well. Um, oh, Percy Jackson. Okay, no, that makes... I have heard of that, now that, now that you mention it. Yeah, Percy Jackson and the, Olymp and the Olympians. Got it, got it. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, no, that, that works out, Casper. Thanks for the suggestion. I appreciate it. I've never read those. I've never read those books, so um, I'm not very familiar. But I am still not opposed. Not opposed at all. Um, okay, cool. So we're all healed up. Let's um, let's take Patty and go and fight Charon real fast. And then once that's done, we'll see where we're we'll see where we're standing. And then maybe we'll just go and challenge the first gym. Um, wow. That we got through the dream yard a lot quicker than I thought we would. Holy cow. Like, I mean, like, all the Route 2 and the dream yard and all that stuff. I actually thought we'd be already be at, like, the two-hour mark by now, but I guess not. But we, that, that early game grinding really really took its toll, I suppose. All right, Charon, let's go. When a Pokemon is poisoned, its HP decreases while it's battling. Hey, Lids, have you come to look for the leader? He was here just a... Uh, ju he was here talking about Pokemon types until just a few moments ago. Maybe you walked right past him? By the way, Lids, will you have a battle with me? I want to test how important items are in battle. Well, let's see how effective my items are. Or maybe I should test how well I can battle without items. Anyway, this is an indoor match, so let's battle without getting too rough. Uh, Yumi says, Bron Bronzor's next entry. X-ray photos were taken to check its body structure. Nothing appeared, however. Oh, so it's like actually just hollow inside? That's super interesting. Uh, Pokemon are so silly. <laughs> we love Pokemon. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's tackle. Uh, Amy says, there's lore on how polishing bronzer will make its surface reflect the truth. However, it hates being polished as a result of that. Oh, interesting. <laughs> it does not like to be polished. There's a mirror that likes to remain rusty. Yeah, there's the berry. I knew that was going to pop in a second. The tail whip is kind of making me nervous, though. I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch, just to be safe. Let's go out to... Oh, shoot, I forgot to go and get... Um, I forgot to go and get Gigi back. Uh, that's okay. I uh, just uh, just won't won't worry about that. Go out to Melfi and take care of Tepe real fast. Alright, finish it off, Melfi. Beautiful. Okay, Purloin. So yeah, I'm gonna go back out into Patty, try and get a full amount of XP. Uh, SP says, Lids, have you played the Metal Slug games? Um, I have played one of them. Um, I in the I used to play it in the arcade at um there was an arcade restaurant near me. Um. It's shut down now, which is super unfortunate, but they had a Metal Slug cabinet, and um, I, that was like kind of my go-to game uh, if I was gonna like go hang out in the arcade. Um, so that is, that, but that is the extent of my experience with the Metal, Metal Slug series, as um, I used to play, I used to play that, the arcade game all the time. So, <laughs> so yes, but like very, very, I'm not, I wouldn't consider myself like a fan, quote unquote. Uh, Yumi says, if Bronzor is turned upside down, it will look exactly the same from the front. <laughs> oh, I guess that's true, huh? <laughs> that is, that's actually rather amusing, Yumi. <laughs> I never even realized. Uh, SP says, I asked because Metal Slug is getting a tactic RPG. Really? It, isn't it like a, it's like a beat em up, like shoot em up game. That's weird. <laughs> how, how bizarre. I'm thinking of the right game, right? Metal Slug, that's the one where you, you, you just move from left to right and you just shoot bullets and it's kind of like, um, kind of like Contra, right? I'm not crazy. I'm thinking of the right game, right? Um, 
Interesting. Tactic RPG. Metal Slug. Very bizarre. Very bizarre. <laughs> uh, okay, so, yeah, I do think I want to grind just a teensy bit more. That's because I'm not joking. I'll post the trailer in the Discord. You're not crazy. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, I was, I'll say I'm pretty sure I know what Metal Slug is. That does that does not seem like what Metal Slug is, so that's kind of wild. <laughs> um... Okay, so, oh yeah, I need to put uh, uh, put Percy away and get uh, get geeky, get our geeky bat. <laughs> um, okay, so, oh god, we have two, we had, we had two two woo bats like right next to each other. I was like, oh god, which one? I don't know, we're good. Um, there we go. Uh, let's see, you're level ten. Can I? Oh yeah, actually, I think you're in the right spot then. Cool. Um, all right, very good. Um, so yeah, with that said and done, we're gonna do just a teensy tiny bit more uh, more grinding. We can use the lucky eggs to our advantage, and um, then we'll be ready to go and take on the gym. And yes, I do believe we are in fact going to be taking on the gym today. Um, so that worked out pretty well for us uh, in that regard. Um, but yeah, let me. I think I I, I want to get everybody to level 11. How's that sound? Um, everyone except for Geeky, who's already at level 13. Let's get them all to level 11, and that will be what we that will be what we work with. I think that that is reasonable. I'll probably grind between streams to be clear, but um, you know, I still think it's a good idea. Uh, Yumi says, also interesting to note, relating to the polishing, bronzer's color is that of weathered or oxidized bronze, not pure, not clean or pure bronze. Oh, interesting. That is super inter That is super neat, Yumi. Thanks for all the fun bronzer trivia. <laughs> I love it. Luckily, we got easy two-hit KO. A boom, level ten. Heal real fast, and then we'll get Patty up to level eleven. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll check that out after stream. SBS. That sounds. It sounds weird. <laughs> Is it? Um, sorry, I, you may have said uh, said before, but um, uh, chats continue to scroll. So, um, w is it like a mobile game or something, or like what? What? Like where? Like where is this game featured? Amy says, which raises the question: If I polish a bronzer, will it become the proper bronze color? That is a good question. I wonder what a polished bronzer that make that honestly that would make for a good um that would make for a good like regional variant like a fully polished bronzer that loves to be polished. Um, that would actually be super interesting. Um, they could make it like um I don't know what would they do to to make it different. I guess uh they could make it instead of they could make it like steel and I don't know fairy I guess steel and steel and uh. I don't know, Psychic just seems so fitting for it, but, um, I don't know, I don't know, Steel and Fairy comes to mind, I guess. They could just make it Mono Steel, I guess, which would be kind of weird, but, I don't know. There's a, there's a lot they could do there. There's a lot they could do there. It's coming to consoles as well. Oh, okay, interesting, SBS. What a bizarre choice for that franchise. Who, Metal Slug is Konami, right? Am I, am I, I'm not pulling that out of nowhere. What is Metal Slug? Who owns Metal Slug? Alright, one more on Patty should do the trick. Oh, it's SNK. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, SNK. SNK has them. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Very good. Very good. Con okay, yeah, that's that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, Contra is Konami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. It's all coming together. I, I haven't played a whole lot of Contra or Metal Slug in general, so I'm, I was just fuzzy. Very fuzzy. I know that they were both arcade shooters. <laughs> um. Okay, so... Actually, just one one baby more. Apparently, that one was just not enough for Patty. Um, but yeah, interesting choice on uh, on SNK's part, then I guess. Um, how strange. Though speaking of Konami, I've mentioned this before, but gosh dang it, I'm chomping at the bit for it. I really want them to put the freaking Metal Gear Solid games on Switch. I want it so bad. I want it so bad. Just do it, Konami. It's like free money. 
It's like free money. I will give you I will give you money for Metal Gear on Switch. I really, really want to play those games. I mean, I have them, so it's not like I can't play them already. But I want to play them on the Switch. Dang it! <laughs> it just I don't know. I like I like playing games on the Switch. It's it's fun. <laughs> uh, okay, let me take the uh, take the lucky egg from you and give it to you. Oh, I guess I should put the grinding banner on again, huh? I didn't even think about that. We did all of P Patty's grinding without it. Oops. Um, I'm, all, I'm on top of things today. It's great. Oh, I never did actually get my uh, second cup of coffee, did I? <laughs> that explains why I'm so spacey. Wow, it checks out. Um, here, I'll uh, quickly knock out this little up and then we'll uh, we'll go do that real fast. Free fake out. Bonk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a fun idea. Okay, yeah, really, really quickly, you guys. I am gonna go get a quick cup of coffee. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll just go on standby for a hot second here while I just go do that real quick, so I can hopefully be a little less spacey, uh, and then, uh, and then I will, um, and then we will resume and, and finish up, and then, yeah, we're definitely gonna fight the gym today, so no worries there. Um, but yeah, so I shall be right back. Okay, I have returned. Thank you all for your patience. Let us resume. We're gonna make this happen. Uh, okay, yeah, let me just, uh, Earthquake, God, I wish, um, I was gonna say, uh, another thing that, uh, it's a quality of life feature that was actually originally, it was in Gens 1, 2, and 3, and has not been in a single Pokemon game since. Um, you used to be able to press select to rearrange the moves without having to go to the status screen. Um, it drives me crazy that they took that. It's not in Gen 4. It's not in Gen 5. It's still not in Pokemon. It's still, it's not even in, hilariously enough, it's not even in BDSP. <laughs> it's really frustrating because it's a very, it was a very useful feature to just be able to rearrange the moves like from the attack screen um, to, to, you know, to suit your fancy. Um, yeah, I don't know why they, I don't know why they haven't brought that back because it seems, it seems like such a no brainer to me. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Maybe I should be faking out. At least in our earthquakes. Alright, yeah, let me... Oh, God. We're getting, we're getting mauled. We're getting mauled by lily pups. Okay, yeah, fake out. Earthquake. Very good. I am, I'm kind of questioning if I really actually need to get to level 11 or not. I probably don't, huh? Alright, I talked myself into it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, 
Yeah, I think I'm going to... I'm going to call it there. <laughs> I'm going to call call it on the grinding. I actually think we'll be fine. Maybe this is maybe this is famous last words. I think we'll be fine. We have Melfi. Mel I mean, <laughs> I feel like a similar situation happened in Pokemon Diamond and we absolutely got bopped by the first gem. But Melfi has Surf and it's like bulky, so it should be able to destroy the, the pants here, even at level 14. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. I'm just going to go into the gym. I'm going to go into the gym. Hopefully I don't regret it. <laughs> In that case, what was the first Pokemon you chose? Snivy, I see. It's weak as fire type. I think you need to prepare to face that type. I'll be waiting for you inside. I can't do the silent voice. Fun fact, for those of you who uh, who have or have not watched the black and white anime, uh, Silent is voiced by the, the, the previous voice of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Once you hear it, you can't unhear it. Um, yeah, he is. Uh, he is voiced by the same the same guy who voiced Sonic for like since like S Sonic Heroes until something something. I don't remember. Ah, uh, yeah, but just fun fun little trivia for you. Oh, hey, Laura, welcome, welcome. How's it going? Lovely to see you. How are you doing? It's it's it's, it's uh, very nice to see you. Uh, Laura says I'm not too late this time. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, no, I'm I'm very I'm very happy to see you. I'm very happy to see you. Um, how's it going? Um, okay, let's see. We'll fight with... Uh, yeah, let's fight with Terrible. That's fine. Um, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm still kind of reeling after after yesterday's playthrough ended the way that it did. But I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Um, we're we're making our way through uh, the beginnings of Pokemon White. I'm having a good time with it. I love Unova, so um, I'm, having a, I'm having a good time. I'm doing well. <laughs> I'm a little spacey because I haven't had enough coffee. Um, but I'm, uh, I'm okay. <laughs> uh, let's just oof what happened. Uh, Lance, uh, we had, we were doing great. We were doing absolutely great. We were completely, completely good and ready to go for, for the end of Soul Silver to like win. Uh, Lance basically like just destroyed us out of nowhere with like, we just got terrible RNG. We got, we got crits. We got, we got, um, he, I, I think he had like, like I said, like 12, like 11, 12 turn, like total turns of confusion that he broke through every single time. Um, it was just awful RNG for us and it completely destroyed us. It completely, completely destroyed us. Uh, it was rather lame. <laughs> um, okay, here, let's, um, I guess we'll set up wrap. That's kind of weird, but did I miss the wrap? Oh my God, I missed it twice. What the heck? Speaking of bad RNG, there we go, jeez. Oh man, that does like no damage. Ugh. Okay, um, yeah, this little pup is kind of already scaring me, my word. Uh, maybe I am making a mistake by going to this gym this early. <laughs> yeah, Arceus had it in for me yesterday. Exactly, SPS. That's exactly what happened, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was it was pretty rough. It was a pretty rough one. Um, but, you know, these, these things happen. These things do happen. Um, let's see. I don't know what I want to do here. Uh, go into... Uh, Melfi, I guess. Oh yeah, I saw I saw your post in um in the Discord, Gimme. I don't care for that at all, uh, to be perfectly honest. Um, I I know he's not like a exclusively Steel type user or anything, but like, come on, we all know he's a Steel type user. <laughs> um, no, I don't I don't I'm not really into him being a psychic trainer at all. I don't I don't like that idea. I am not a fan. I am not a fan. That is a very bizarre choice on the on the on that ROM hacks uh, part. <laughs> I don't know why they decided to go that direction with it. Is that what the reason? Did they just give him a team of like legendaries or something? That's interesting. But yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not huge on it. I'm not huge on it. Okay, um, how many rare candies did I have? I knew I had a couple, but I'm saving one of them for something in particular. Um, how many do I have? 
three. Mm, maybe I could use some um, on somebody. Help, uh, help with this situation. Um, here, let me look at Snivy's. How much XP do you have? Eleven. I'm, I'm kind of nervous, actually. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Mm, oh man, I'm so, I'm so like flip floppy. Oh gosh, dang. Um, what do I do? What do I do? Oh, also, I should give everybody their items back again, huh? I never did that. Who's, who's holding what right now? Leftovers, Mystic Water. Okay, you got Lucky Egg, Lucky Egg. I need to give Patty something. Oh yeah, Patty needs the Evia Light. Oh, but you know what? I should give, um, I should actually give the Evia Light to... I'm gonna give the Evia Light to, um, Snivy. Yes, I'm going to do that. Oh, we have two Evia Lights. Oh, okay, in that case, I'll give, a, I'll give one to Snivy and, uh, to Patrat. Just make them more defensive. That'll make me feel a little bit better, I think. Um. Uh, let's see. Uh, you, you, uh, Yumi says his team is Metagross, Mewtwo, Deoxys, Jirachi, Starmie, and Aerodactyl. Uh, I don't care for that, like, at all, Yumi. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that team for him. Uh, Laura says a rock would at least be, made more sense, but, uh, then you have Roxanne. Um. Oh, yeah, and then, yeah, no Latias or Latias. Interesting. Um, Yumi says, uh, we have, uh, uh, Liza, Liza and Tate, uh, psychic users. Also true. Also very true. Yeah, that de yeah, the death has me shook. It's true, SBS. I'm, I'm just nervous. I'm very nervous. Oh, SBS has redeemed go grind. Okay, I gotta go grind. That's fine. That is fine. I'll finish up that Spinneroo grinding I was doing, since he's still holding the lucky egg anyway. Um, yeah, easy enough. You got it, SBS. Here you go. Yeah, Emerald Kaizo is kind of wild. Yeah, very. It seems very interesting. Um, I keep hearing a lot about those 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 types of uh, uh, like ROM plays or ROM hacks and stuff like that. Um, I don't know how to feel about them. I don't know how to feel about them. They seem very strange. <laughs> they seem very very strange. <laughs> oh no! I will continue to panic, SPS. I'm I'm in a constant state of panic now. <laughs> Okay, Spinneroo hits level 11. Very good. Okay, so yeah, let's. Uh, the Eevee lights actually do give me some manner of uh, of reassurance because we have the unevolved Pokemon um, that will, you know, benefit from the defense buff. Um, that makes me feel a lot better. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's go. Uh, rearrange again. Spinneroo here. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so let's do this. Um, let me heal real fast, and then yeah, we'll head back in. Maybe I should get more potions, too. I, I should have a little bit more money at this point. I do I do like them being double battles, uh, Yumi. I know that the rematches in Emerald are double battles, which I think... I always thought that was really cool. I think I think it'd be really cool if all of Hoenn's... Um, all of Hoenn's uh, battles were double battles. Just because it's like, it's like the Hoenn thing. It, it was the, the double battle debut generation. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, re the, the rematches are double battles in Emerald. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, terrible out front, that's fine. Oh, you never did the rematches in Emerald. That's surprising, Yumi, considering how much of a... How much of an Emerald fan you are? I thought you would have. Uh, I thought you would have known. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, we got the Patrat, the level ten Patrat. Hopefully, we're a little more defensive here. We'll go for some leers. It sucks that we basically do have to set up Leer to have Terrible do any damage. The attack is not good. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's pitiful. After a single leer, and it still only does that much? Crazy. <gasps> oh, God, bide. Okay, hold up. Oh, God, can we kill? Okay, this is uh, a bit spooky. Um, Melfi's got a lot of HP, so we'll probably be fine. 
Yeah, I'm gonna switch. <laughs> I'm gonna switch. Uh, bide is not something that I want to mess around with. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> and hell, actually, I probably could have surfed there and killed, but... I don't know. Better, better to be safe than sorry, I suppose. All right, Patrak goes down. All right, Terrible hits level 11, very good. Okay, Purloin is coming out next. Let's go into, ooh, it's Prince X time to shine. Uh, and no predicting, SPS. You're predicting leads to bad vibes. <laughs> uh, Princect has, has been actually contributing pretty heavily against these Purloins, one-shotting consistently with Bug Bite. Pretty nice. It's a good little buggy friend. Good little buggy. <laughs> Let me go heal again. Oh, yeah, it's Cat's Paw, Yumi. Cat's Paw. <laughs> Yeah, it is fun. It is fun. Uh, okay, heal on up. And all right, I guess it's—I think it's time. I think I was the last trainer, so it's uh, it's time to take on this gym leader and see what we can do. Um, I'm feeling a little nervous about it, to be honest, because I am probably a little more under level than I ought to be. But I'm just anxious to to get this show on the road. So let's go with um. Let's see. Who do I want to? Who do I want to lead with? They, they it, it's Lillipup first, I believe. So. Um, I guess we could do sp Spinneroo out front. We don't have any fighting moves, but we can hit it pretty hard with an Earthquake, I imagine. And that would work out fine, I think. And I could fake out turn one as well, which is always nice. Um, okay, here we come, Chili. Welcome to the Striaton City Pokemon Gym. I'm Chili. I light things up with Fire-type Pokemon. I am a Water-type specialist, and my name is Cress. Pleased to make your acquaintance. And my name is Silent. I like Grass-type Pokemon. Um, you see, as for the three of us, um, our, our all here is, well, uh... Oh, enough. Listen up. The three of us will decide whom you battle. It'll be based on the type of the first Pokemon you chose. That is indeed the case. And the partner you first chose was the grass type, it seems. Ta-da! The fire type Scorcher Chili! That's me. We'll be your opponent. Alright, very good. Uh, Yumi says this gym should have been a triple slash rotation battle. I mean, it w it's a little early to, to introduce triple battles, but it would have been really cool, yeah. If they were, like, later in the game, that would have been kind of neat. That would have been kind of neat. Alright, I think we're ready. Let's, um, let's go, Chili. Yow! Time to play with fire! <laughs> I love this guy. I'm the strongest of us brothers. Yeah, no, it's true, Yumi. It's true. Yeah, it would have been cool if there was a gym that was themed around them. Specific I guess Black 2 and White 2 does it with its gym trainers, but um, not with the gym leader. Not with the gym leader themselves. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. Say what you will about it. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, fake out immediately, of course. As if that would work on my Pokemon. Yeah, all, all right, Chili, you say so. Ooh, we resist. Ooh, but that was a crit. Oh, dang. Okay, another bite. Another critical hit, and we get the flinch. Oh, but we're steadfast. Oh, the speed rose. Nice. You take that. I, two crits in a row. Can you not, Chili? Like, jeez, man. <laughs> I have I had enough bad RNG in the Soul Silver playthrough. I don't need two crits in a row to start this gym battle. Okay. <laughs> Laura says, "Damn, the RNG sis is not on your side." No kidding, Laura. <laughs> There's a third. <laughs> That's just silly. I mean, I'm glad that we're tanking them, but like, jeez. K 
Can you not? <laughs> yeah, SBS is Lintz's ability going into overdrive. Yeah, where I just constantly get crit. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding, SBS. <laughs> oh yeah, not not a bad idea, Yumi. Not a bad idea. <laughs> I like it. Okay, Panseer. Catch the surf, my friend. Ooh, we live in. Okay, fair enough. Aqua Jet, though. Oh, you have a potion. Fair enough. Well, I'll, uh, Aqua Jet will still do crazy damage. It may even still kill. Nope, not quite. But this one will. Bonk. All right, not too shabby. I, it was a little, a little nervous with the, uh, with the Lillipop with those crits, but <laughs> not too bad. Not too bad. Leader Chili goes down. You got me. I am burned out. Whoa, you're on fire. Well, it's the Pokemon League's rule. Take this gym badge. There it is, the trio badge. Immediately onto the board, if I can find it on the layout. There it is. Boink. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The first badge down. No problem. Gym badges are proof of a trainer's abilities. If you have one badge, Pokemon, including trained Pokemon up to level 20, will obey you without question. We also want you to have this. And we get work up, too. Very nice. TM83 er, contains work up. If you use work up, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how work up works. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, so... Let's see. Do I want to... Hmm, I'm trying to decide if I want to do the dream, dream yard as well. Uh, I guess I guess it doesn't take very long. Um, yeah, why not? Why not? Let's do, um, let's do the Dream Yard, too. Let's do the Dream Dream Yard, too. I know I know. I said that it was going to be, um, probably just the gym and then call it, but I, I feel like playing a little bit more, so we'll, we'll go a little bit longer. Go a little bit longer and just do the Dream Yard stuff real fast. Uh, and then, yeah, once that's done, then, then we'll call the end of stream. Uh, Yumi says, not, uh, not, uh, not really accurate to their types, but it could have been really cool if they gave them Tri-Attack. Oh, that would have been cool, yeah. That would be neat. That would be neat. Um, tri attack is a TM in Gen 8, so like maybe they could have just done that a little early or something, and then like given more Pokemon access to it. That'd be neat. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I guess you're right, Yumi. All the all the gym TMs are are new moves. Maybe that's just a coincidence, though. I don't know if that necessarily has to like it. It doesn't necessarily have to be that way. Um, but yeah, I mean that is that is true. I, they are all new moves, aren't they? <laughs> kind of wild. All right, very good. All healed. All right, off to the Dream Yard. Um, and yeah, we can actually get another encounter in the Dream Yard too once we finish the Team Plasma event up. Um, yeah, let's. Um, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. I'll switch Melfi out here. And yeah, we'll lead with Spinneroo still. Spinneroo is going to be really tricky to get to evolve as well because <laughs> I have. I'm going to have to. It's a to be clear, it is the Hitmontop, so I have to make sure that it is, in fact, the Hitmontop when it evolves. <laughs> it's going to be tough, but we're going to make it happen somehow. Okay, Cut. Yeah, I had a feeling someone would be able to do it. Oh, Prinsect, you're perfect. Prinsect learns Cut. There you go, buggy friend. Cut that tree for me. Thank you. Hi, Lids. Are you looking for a mysterious Pokemon, too? Hey, did you hear that sound coming from the other side of the wall? Come on, let's go see. Oh, it's the moon, uh. Oh, wait. We found you, Muna. Come on, come on, make some dream mist. Huh? Who are you? What are you doing? Are you talking about us? We're Team Plasma. We battle day and night to liberate Pokemon from foolish humans. What are we doing? The Pokemon Muna and Musharna in a mysterious vapor called Dream Mist, which shows people's dreams. We're going to use that to make people want to release their Pokemon. We'll show them dreams to manipulate their hearts. 
Aw, don't kick the Buddha, that's so mean. Come on, spit out that dream mist. You're kicking a Pokemon to make it give off dream mist? That's mean, why? You're trainers too, right? That's right, we're Pokemon trainers too, but we're fighting for a different reason. Unlike you two, we're fighting for the freedom of Pokemon. And setting Pokemon free means that we win Pokemon battles and take Pokemon by force. So, on that note, we are going to rescue your Pokemon from you. What? Don't hurt Lids. Don't hurt me. That would make me sad. Yumi says, wow, Univin drowsy. <laughs> it is. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Glad that we have two dream-eating tapers in Pokemon. <laughs> Okay, we'll fake out. And then we'll Earthquake. It's really funny to me that Tyro gets Earthquake. Alright, finish it up, Spinneroo. Beautiful. Level 12. We love that. Were you not were, were you not taking them seriously because they're kids? Well, whatever. I'm next. <laughs> wow, you know the you know you know Radita. Indeed, indeed, Yumi. <laughs> uh, it is it's so funny. I I love that like um I I, I never actually I mean, I, I did read it a long time ago. There's like that interview with the director of Black and White who was basically like, oh yeah, like like basically confirmed what fans already knew was that like most of Pokemon from Unova were like literally only put in the game to like be a parallel to an existing Pokemon. <laughs> like they were talking about specifically Basculin, how they were just like, oh yeah, like we realized that we needed to fill the water with something. So we made a fish. I was just like, wow, that's so inspired. <laughs> <laughs> so inspiring. <laughs> the basculin exists because of, because they realized they needed something to put in the water. Cool. <laughs> what a boring answer. <laughs> Funny though. Okay, Perloin is down. I can't believe we lost. But we have to obtain the Dream Mist. Yeah, at least it's an Angie fish. Indeed, Yumi. Indeed. <laughs> I like Basculin well enough. What are you two doing goofing off? We, Team Plasma, shall separate Pokemon from foolish people. If you cannot fulfill your duties... Th this isn't Gets us when he's gathering followers or Gets us when he's trying to control people by tricking them with speeches. Yeah. This is gets us when a plan is failed and he's about to issue punishment. At any rate, let's say hurry and say that we're sorry so he forgives us. <laughs> Laura says, a boring answer for a boringly designed Pokemon. Indeed, Laura. <laughs> uh, Casper says, all the effort was put into the story and they, they forgot they needed to design Pokemon too. No kidding, Casper. <laughs> I mean, I like a lot of Unova's Pokemon to be clear, but it is kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of them do just exist to fill a, to fill a slot. <laughs> I couldn't wait, so I came over. Is that Musharna? Musha? Mooney. Aw, so cute. <laughs> Did something happen? Oh, Fennel. Well, you see, Muna was here, but Team Plasma and Muna and Musharna came, and it showed us something like a dream, and, and then Team Plasma. I think I followed that. See, Musharna evolves from Muna, so seeing Muna in trouble, it used its power, making dreams into reality, to save Muna. Which means... Wait a second. Is this Dream Mist? With this, I can complete my research. You two, come to my house later, okay? Ooh, how random was that? Lids, why don't you go to Fennel's house? Me? Well, I'm just gonna go look for the Pokemon we saw just now. Actually, so am I, Bianca, because I actually, um... I actually have an encounter to get here. I actually need a Muna or Musharna. Um, I do not have one, so we're gonna try and get one real fast. That is uh, that is the name of the game. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's do it. Uh, we, we gotta actually find one, of course. I think it's just uh, Patrats, Purloins, and Munas here. So we just gotta kind of run around in the grass until we find one. We already have the full Purloin and Patrat line, so we're not worried about them. Um, but yeah, so. <laughs> 
We need that Moon Armor Sharna. We're after it. I know that they're kind of rare. I don't know what the percentage is. I don't think it's like 1%, but they are on the rare side. I do know that. Oh, there we go. That, that wasn't bad at all. That was not bad at all. Okay, and I actually, I think I have, I have a quick ball, I think, from the previous playthrough. I might as well just chuck it. <laughs> uh, what do you say? What do you say, Muna? You want to just stay in this quick ball here? Easy, baby. Easy. <laughs> oh, I wish I had a dream ball, Yumi. That'd be really cute. And there we go. We get ourselves the Muna as well. Um, I can really quickly add that to the layout. Or not the layout, The um, to my checklist, rather. <laughs> um, let's make this one just Muna. Uh, no, actually, no. Let's do Masharna. Let's do Masharna. I want to do Masharna. Um... Yeah, Musharna. Uh, so yeah, I am open to nickname suggestions for Musharna. If anybody has any, uh, do let me know. Uh, it is a male, male Musharna. Um, and yeah, uh, like I said, feel free to, um, you know, if, if you have a name that you want to force me to use, like I said, there, there is the new, the new nickname, nickname a Pokemon option for the Forever Lock tokens. If anybody's interested in spending their points, it's kind of expensive, but... I, it, it would force me to do whatever you want. <laughs> Pudge. <laughs> I kind of like Pudge, honestly, SPS. Yeah, that's funny. Um, yeah, okay. I think I'm into that. I think I'm into that. <laughs> Pudge. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Alright, yeah, sure. Pud we have Pudge the Busharna. There it is. There it is. Thank you for the suggestions, everyone. Not Hypno. Nice, Yumi. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, we, we got that done. Uh, I'll quickly meet up with Fennel and uh, get that little plot point resolved real fast. I guess I could grab the items real fast, too. Hold on. Let me do that. Might as well. Um, no reason not to. Um, and uh, and yeah, then we'll uh, then we'll wrap up here. Uh, we'll uh, we'll jump into the next the next route and all that junk uh, with. Charon and Charon uh, rival fight and the stolen Team Plasma Pokemon situation. We'll do all that uh, in the next stream. Um, but in the, in the meantime, we'll uh, we made some good progress today. We got the first gym badge done. We finished up the Dream Yard stuff, so that's good. Um, making making good good little progress here. I am pleased, and no no losses so far, uh, notably, which is good. Very, very good. I was a little. I'm always a little nervous about the early game of Unova because it's actually kind of a tough, tough difficulty curve uh, at the start there. So I'm glad that it wasn't too bad. Heal up real fast, and let's go. Let's go talk to. Let's go talk to Fennel about features that no longer exist. Feels really bad that it's like a. Um, it's like a mandatory like quote unquote, not not tutorial per se, but just like she talks about like game sync and all that stuff. Stuff that just doesn't actually work anymore <laughs> because the DS Wi-Fi is down. The po the Dream World stuff is all down. It feels really bad. <laughs> feels so bad. But you know, it is what it is. Oh yeah, that's that's true. It is technically not until next week. You know, uh, stinking tomorrow, <laughs> or not tomorrow, but uh, Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday is when yeah when we'll be back for for more uh, Pokemon White. Cool. Thank you, Fennel. Yep, game sync. Yep, feels bad. <laughs> feels bad. I don't. I. I don't. I've mentioned before. I. I actually did a lot of the extra content in black and white. It was actually really fun. It was a cool. It's a cool little time capsule of my life. It's just like, oh yeah, I actually like went deep in like the Dream World stuff, and I played the mini games on the Pokemon website. The whole thing got like Dream Pokemon with the hidden abilities. Um, you know, it was, it was fun. I'm glad I got to experience it back in the day. Uh, it's sad that it's completely shut down now. Shut down now, though. <laughs> Very unfortunate. But with all of that said and done, this is where we're going to go ahead and wrap up. With that taken care of, uh, I think this is the perfect stopping point. Made good progress, like I said, so we're in really good shape today. Um, let's see, is there anyone who is streaming right now who I want to go raid? Uh, doesn't look like it today, but that's all right. That's all right. So yeah, uh, I will go ahead and wrap up. Uh, no stream tomorrow. Um, uh, it is my day off, so I am going to take a little bit of rest and, uh, you know, relax a little in between. Um, 
and then we will be back on um we'll be back on tuesday uh tuesday to continue our uh new pokemon white playthrough so i hope you guys are looking forward to that i certainly am uh, and yeah, I will see you guys uh, on Tuesday. So take care. Have a good rest of your day. Bye, everybody.